Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. It's not 1998, and this isn't 120 minutes, but I am Matt Pinfield, the Dick Clark of the grunge era. And I, Woo! thank you, thank you. And I am so excited to be back on television for the first time this century. <laughs> this is the special without Brett Davis, and tonight the gods of rock have chosen me to helm the ship, and I pray I steer it well. Now, I'm no comedian. I've never successfully told a joke. You know, I'm more of a rock guy, a, a rock expert. So if you will, here's some rock news. Woo! <laughs> Marilyn Manson has canceled nine shows due to his recent onstage injury, in which he was crushed by two giant prop guns because of course he was. While Manson is known for his on wild onstage exploits, there's one experience we're hoping to see from him in the near future, a speedy recovery. <laughs> Promoting his new Netflix series, Neo Yokio, <laughs> Vampire Weekend frontman Ezra K Koenig announced that the vamps are working on a new LP. Maybe they'll call this one Too Long because it's been way too long since we've heard any new material from them. Rolling Stone magazine had an entertaining read this week with Foo Fighter and Sonic Highway's host Dave Grohl, who recalled an appearance on Saturday Night Live in 2003. Apparently, host Christopher Walken had a funny way of pronouncing the band's name, and it sounded like full, like, uh, like food for, well, it sounded a little unusual. Just Google it. <laughs> well, tonight's show is gonna rock. <laughs> the special always delivers when it comes to bringing cool rock bands on the show. From my fellow Jerseyans, the Steve Albini approved battering ram punk rock trio, Screaming Females, to Portland's bubblegum pop, Indie rock superheroes, the Thermals. From the whiskey-ravaged art rock of Atlanta's warehouse to the bong water splash throwback hard rock of Philadelphia's Hound. From sunflower beans, Sabbath meets the Velvets to power bottoms. Oh, I'm being told we need to wrap this up. It's a shame. It's a shame. Musical guest this week I'm really excited about. The power pop pride of Bloomington, Indiana. Mike Adams at his honest weight will be joining us. Also, we will be talking to someone you may recognize if you've ever binged Amazon's Mozart in the Jungle or MTV's I Just Want My Pants Back. From the new film Assholes, we've got actor, director, writer, Beer back! Yeah. Plus, we have a bona fide rock and roll footnote, but you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> also, we're gonna be playing rock trivia. So call in tonight at 212-757-1393 and try to stump me, the rock expert, Matt Pinfield. Just Google me if you haven't heard of me. <laughs> but first, just like every week, apparently, we're going to have a moment of mirth with the joke of the week, Mr. Jokes. Special without Brent Davis. 
Yes, how you folks doing tonight? Give it up for yourselves, huh? All right, I love this crowd. You know, uh, we talk about music. Uh, music is everywhere. You know, you hear all about these things in the news. I recently read in the news, Chipotle signed a deal with Radiohead to play music at their stores all over America. Chipotle and Radiohead? That's two things that make me bleed out my anus. <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you, there's a lot of uh, music things going. Uh, here's a joke for you, Daddy. Dad? Oh. Yeah. Knock, knock, who's there? Shut the fuck up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> rum, pum, pum, rise. Rum, pum, pum, rise. Woo! Oh. Uh, hello, my <clears throat> stepson. It's nice to see you again. I appreciate this uh, outfit. Am I cool yet? Uh, no, you're not cool, Dad. What is this shithole? Uh, you're supposed, supposed to take me to SeaWorld. <laughs> huh? Why don't I take you to see this? Look at this guy, Matt Pinfield. You like music, right? Yeah. Is that something we, you and him have in common? Okay. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> you're supposed to take me to SeaWorld. You promised me. Well, You uh, said you were going to let me put one of the orcas down. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me! I'm sorry. Look, is there any way I can make it up to you or anything? Is there anything I can do um, right I don't now? Know. Do you see any shamus around here? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a personal shot at me, but. Uh, what, what do so you got here? Do another gig? Another gig, Daddy? Yeah, maybe you I do. You should be out looking for mom. Uh, you know what? Maybe She's I will. She's been missing since Labor Day. Uh, well, speaking of labor, it looks like I'm going to go out and labor all the wrongs that we've had. Matt, you got that script I sent you? All right, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. I love this crowd. You know, you gotta learn how to talk to your dad better. I would do anything for a dad like Mr. Jokes. We get some. You know? Eat my ass, you fucking Tom Petty looking motherfucker. That's my stepdad. Hey, not this week. Not this he, week. He loves this crowd. Hey, Tom, get out of here, Tommy. Tommy. Hey, hey, hey. What's your name, kid? I'm Wade. Wade? You know what? People like Named this. Named after Wade Boggs. Oh. <laughs> Oh, your dad was an athlete, huh? Looks like you st you didn't. Uh, my dad was an athlete. Yeah, my real dad was, obviously. Yeah, not your new dad, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you seem like uh, you seem like a pretty rocking guy. I guess you like so. rock? Yeah. Uh, me too. Me nice. Too. You know, everybody says rock is dead, but I look at you and I see the spirit of rock and roll is still alive. Appreciate it. What do you say, kid? I'm hosting this show. It's going okay, but I could really use a co-host. Would you like to? Would you like to take the seat? Sure. Hang out. Hang I, out for what do you guys think? You guys want Wade to hang out? I think so. Tim. Come on, sit down, Wade. I mean, I guess I was, you know, today I woke up, thought I was gonna be putting down a, a killer whale. Yeah. But I guess I'll co-host the show. <laughs> happy, happy you joined us. I like those goggles, huh? As you can see we're going to SeaWorld, you probably want thought you'd get Yeah, I wanted to get down in there. Yeah. Get right up close to the shamu and just Put it on down. Yeah. 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 That, I think I that's know, a right. lot of people saw that documentary years ago. made him pretty upset. I just saw it yesterday. It made me real upset. Yeah. I was like, someone's got to put these guys down. Yeah. yeah. They're suffering. They're yeah. suffering. And it's absolutely un uh, it's unconscionable. Speaking, I, I speaking of suffering, my, uh, my mom has been <laughs> missing since Labor Day. <laughs> and my sister's been, uh, she's been missing since Arbor Day. Wow. Yeah. Arbor my dad Day? hasn't done anything. He does gig to gig every night. <laughs> Yeah, that's he's true. at the Chuckle Hut, you know, Monday. Wednesday, he's at the Laugh Factory. By Friday, he's at the, uh, you know, you know. The what? Go Bananas. The Go Bananas. Can someone get this guy out of here? Can you get my dad out of here? So, you seem like you got a lot of problems. Yeah, I'll say. But have you ever thought... You know, I know, I've known a lot of, I've known a lot of rock and rollers in my day with problems. For real? Nikki Six, Axl Rose, Kurt Cobain, Joey Ramone, uh, uh, who else? I got Mike Adams tonight. He's a real troubled rocker. You know, and I'll tell you, all these people they started as wayward teenagers, but then they found music. So have you ever thought about maybe trying a career in music? It's funny you actually bring it up, because. I'm in a band. Well, was in a band. A, you were, what's your band called? I love checking out new music. <laughs> you know, it's New Music Wednesday tonight on the special because Matt Pinfield's hosting. Yeah. Well, it was a pretty cool band. We were called Agent Orange. Glad you came to the show. <laughs> it was wow. A, that's a, it was a horrible name. No, I think it's a modern. It's very 2017. But it, it sucks. You know, we were pretty good, but uh, a couple of the guys, they... 
they, they took off. They, get, they got this new idea for an app, and they went to Silicon Valley to start working for Hooli. Oh, that's great. I, you know, I just yeah. moved to San Francisco, and Are I you love serious? it. They, well, the hills hurt my uh, hernia, but other than that, it's it's really great. I mean, I go down to the I go down to the height. Is that what they call it? I'm new there. Height. I don't know. Height. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty wild. At least stuff. that's what I'm gleaning you know, from my friends. They, I mean, you ever been? You ever been? Sam Fran, you know, uh, Grateful Dead, Janis Joplin, Big Brother, Credence, you know, all the classics from came out of there. Credence? Yeah. Credence are, rocks. Are they from San Fran? Yeah. You probably thought they were from the heartland. Nope. From San Francisco. <laughs> I yeah. guess I did think that. But no, I don't like Credence. I think they uh, they suck. <laughs> that's pretty rock yeah. and roll. That's pretty yeah. rock and roll. I think that's rock and roll. Anything before 1990, I really don't understand. <laughs> you know, everything before 1990, I desperately wanted to be a part of, and everything after 1990, I was desperately a part of. Totally. Yeah. Nice. So, I get now, that. hold on now. I want to know. I, so, your band, Agent Orange, are all uh, coming to our show? Agent Bre Orange, you're glad you came to our show? Agent <laughs> Orange, you're glad you came yeah. to our show. That's a pretty catchy name. So, we're you guys it play? was, but now they're off working at Hooli. So, hold on. I got my, I got my, uh, my smartphone I don't know, I was thinking here. about calling some of the guys from Zebrahead, seeing if they want to fucking start a new thing. <laughs> oh, cool, Zebrahead. They're yeah. great, man. They that's are like, great. Uh, that's, you know, that's like prog, prog funk punk. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, man, I love with, it. With a San Diego twist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, again, I, I, Mr. Director, you think if I pull up, uh, uh, Wade's uh, band on uh, Spotify. We can play it. Oh, no. nice. Yeah, you want me to play one of my songs? Oh, you, wait, you can just play it? Uh, you, where's your guitar? You play <laughs> guitar, right? Where we're going, we won't need guitars. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. That's pretty wild. Are you like a, maybe like a synth pop punk? No, well, ever since those... Uh, you know, Cody and Brody took off to, to go to San Fran with all the gear, you know, I've still been jamming in the uh, garage. Just All right. solo. All right. Well, I, I don't know. Guys. Would you guys like to hear uh, Wade's uh, solo project? Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right. So you got the, uh, and you got the good version? Uh, it really rocks. It's pretty heavy. I don't know. Do it. If I just play it from here, you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the covers we did. All right. All right. And, uh, yeah. Agent Orange, you glad you, guys, you came, came to our show? Ah, it's oh. came up, man. You guys got uh, four list monthly listeners. That's pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Everybody, please be quiet so we can. There you go. Okay, this isn't the right version. I can already tell. <laughs> Wait, it should be. It should be completely amplified. Who's that? This is my life. It sounds like my sister singing. Suffocation. She's, she's no been gone since Arbor Day. I mean, this does not have a San Diego vibe, I will say that. Four people listening to this. Stop this shit. Stop this shit. Stop this. Oh, man, I thought this was a really cool. Ver Damn, your band's awesome. No, that's that's a uh, that's a false account. Oh man, that's a poser account. What? I think the the female take on that song is. It's got to be my sister. Stuff. She she's somewhere working independently. She we'll she see. hacked in. To, she she took my songs and now she's okay. turning them into some look, look, light see, rock look, shit. Look, I hey, calm down. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess we pulled up the wrong. You know, I don't know how to use this thing. My wife gave it to me. Uh, and I just don't know sorry so if look, I uh, look, wasn't playing we figure, very well. My mom's been we... gone since Labor Day. Sister, right, since back. Arbor Day. Right. And you must miss them. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Maybe they're watching. You know, maybe they made it to the Big Apple. Yeah, anything you like, might like to say? Anyone's anyone? watching? I don't know. My dad told me you guys have just as many monthly viewers as I do listeners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we all got to start somewhere, huh? All right. Well... So if you're just in I'm case, just thinking, it, it, maybe just say something to mom, you know. Okay. Mom, it's Wade, named after Wade Boggs, the great Boston Red Sox third baseman, golden glove, and golden bat. School's going pretty well this year. Haven't seen you since Labor Day, mom. 
I joined the RC club. Got a couple stadium trucks. They're doing pretty well. <laughs> it's remote control car club is what I joined. So uh, I don't know. After school, I've just been kind of hanging out, looking for dry patches. <laughs> what else can I say? I was kicked out of a shop class already. Yeah, I was making too many ancient spears. Ah, oh, cool. I like Anyways, that. that's so all do... I have to say to my mom. <laughs> those are pretty cool. You can use those as stage props. That's... What's that? Uh, spears. That's fun. Yeah. yeah also, do you see this notebook? Yeah, it looked like the... I see it. What's it yeah, say? Yeah, well, it's from my mom. You can zoom in on this. It says, take epic chances. I don't know if we can... I don't know if our cameras zoom. Yeah, we're not on MTV anymore, kid. Anyway, look. You stay here. I'll try to make it up to you. Sorry we ruined your song. No, I think we got. Okay. A, I think we got a video coming up. Uh, For yeah. real? Yeah, it's a video. I think you're going to really like it. Something I'm personally very into. I love watching videos like this on my own time. I got my iPad. I'm watching them on the plane. Yeah. I, got my, I got my phone watching them on the bus. You know, I do like, a lot of public transportation. I do a lot of watching videos just like this. I think, uh, Mr. Director, you want to want to go to it? Uh, stay tuned, everybody. So how long have you been painting clowns? Oh, well, I'm so glad you asked. I've probably been painting clowns for about 10, 12, 11, 12 years. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I'll, I've probably been painting clowns for as long as I've been living in a neighborhood. So, yeah, I'd say about 10, 12, 11, 12 years now. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. You know, I live just down the street, and if I had known that you were sitting on such a treasure trove over here, I'd have been over beating your door down every Christmas time, birthday, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I love finding gifts for people, little things like this. Oh, well, I love when my items get to find a nice, loving home, too. In particular, my clowns. There's just something about the clown that uh, brings a lot of joy and happiness into my life. Oh. Is there anything that brings joy and happiness into your life? Uh, well, I have a stepdaughter, oh. though I wouldn't say there's a lot of joy in our lives these days, oh, no. unfortunately. Yeah, well, you know, she's a teenager and she's one of these goths. Okay. A uh, real down in the dumps type. A sad Susan. Exactly, a sad Susan. You know, I was thinking maybe I could buy her something to cheer her up. Of course, yeah. yeah. Feel free to take a peek. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. Um, kind of had my eye on this guy. What do you think of him? Daffodil is one of my favorites. Uh, I'll tell you what, if Daffodil doesn't get your daughter chipper, I don't know what will. I really don't. <laughs> Daffodil. Daffodil, you're my guy. He's coming with me. <laughs> you're a wonderful salesman. Thank you so much. Well, do you like it? I thought you might. Do you want to know why? Why? Well, I thought you might like it because you're a little clown. You are. Any surprise that I would say that? You shouldn't be with all that makeup. It's very funny to me. I'm living with Bozo. Did you know every morning I wake up and I think to myself, off to the big top. And then I see you in the kitchen and I, I wonder, hmm, did she sleep in a little car with all of her friends? <laughs> every time the phone rings, I assume it's Barnum and Bailey calling to recruit you for their circus. The only thing missing in this whole scenario is the rainbow wig and the red nose and the floppy red shoes. I ought to check your closet because I bet they're in there. I want to throw a pie in your face so badly. But we don't have any pie. Maybe I'll go buy one. That's it. I'll go buy a nice cherry pie, and then I'll come back, and I'll throw it in your little clown face. Be right back. <laughs> Well, <laughs> she absolutely loved it.
Oh man, I told you, I, I watch video, I love that. Yeah, I no, love that, that was video. Great video. People I, always tell me that I like, kind of look like a clown out of makeup. You know, I got that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I, I actually know the goth girl from that video. No. Yeah, she lives a stone's throw from LaGuardia. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's I pretty used to, cool. Yeah, I used to go over there. It's pretty cool. I, I, you know, I, I hate flying into LaGuardia. You know, it's always kind of out of the way, but yeah, we'll talk about that another time. But I'll tell wait, you wait, wait, where do you like flying? You know, I like, uh, I'm more of a Newark kind of guy. You know, oh, I like yeah. I like getting back to Jersey. Those are my roots. You know? Oh, nice. New Brunswick, Princeton. You ever go to Jersey Gardens? You're too young. No, yeah, my, like... my dad's got my ass out in Staten Island. Mm, yeah. yeah, Staten Island sucks. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like, the new, it's like, why isn't he, why isn't it just a part of New Jersey? You know, I feel like it wants to be, eh, you know what? Let's forget about this. I want to, I had so much fun watching videos with you. I want to watch it. I want to watch a clip. Okay. Of, uh, We've got special guests coming out. I want to show you a clip of his uh, new movie called Assholes, which is uh, coming out this Friday. So uh, why don't we uh, take a look at that? Did you hear about my neighbor? Uh, yeah, I think um, I think my, our parents said something about that. You have to be very quiet when you come over, actually, because these walls are like they're like this. They're like a membrane. They're like skin. They're like, a, they're like scrotal in nature. And my um, neighbor is. She's a racist. I've encountered a racist. She hates me because I'm. She hates me because I'm white. And she's not. You want to smoke? Yeah, this is great. This is great. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is an actor, director, and writer. Please welcome Peter Vac. I just gotta say, I'm very heartened by how uh, uproarious the laughter was during that clip. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. It yeah. really blew the socks yeah, off. Yeah, it was this incredible. Place, yeah. You know, Pinfield, I have to tell you, uh -huh. uh, before we even begin, I guess last time I saw you on television was 1998. Yeah, so I was that's 11 about years right. old. That's about right, yeah. And I remember sort of being like blinded by the light coming off your head, even in my room. True. But Thanks. I also remember having this thought where I was like, wow, now there's a guy who I hope to never look like, <laughs> and I don't. Not yet, not yet, kid, but let me tell you, the years pile on, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you know I'm 40. Oh, well. They didn't tell you? I'm quite old. I'm only 42. <laughs> oh, so yeah. we're the same age. No, Interesting. I'm, not, I'm 50. Oh, yeah. Two. Yeah, JK, I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? 14. <laughs> <laughs> 14 is the best age because yeah. nothing's legal. No, nothing's Especially legal. Especially scorpions I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty rocky. Yeah. So uh, a little birdie told me you grew up in New York City, the home of rock and roll, the Big Apple. So tell me, you probably saw some great bands back in your day, maybe, uh, maybe some of that No Wave, maybe Sonic Youth. I guess you're a little young. Maybe The Strokes. Huh? Well, you know, unfortunately, I did. You kind of look like you could be in the strokes. That's huh? so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a very. I, I think I t I'll take that as a compliment. But I, uh, I never go to live music. So is that it? <laughs> Should I just leave? I no, no, no. Oh, okay. Look, I mean, look. He's gonna get some live music tonight. You saw. Uh, we are. Some, yeah. Nice. Later on. Yeah. You know, it's pretty fun. So you never never saw any cool bands when you well, were in New York. Let me Come think. on. Nothing. Oh, I mean, I guess. I did see Patti Smith turn 60 at the Bowery Ballroom. Wow. Yeah. Patti Smith, That's true. a legend. Yeah, she is. She was a, was she's good. like the poet of punk rock. <laughs> was she playing yeah. or you just saw her turn 60? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was amazing. She came on, said, I'm 60 now, and left. And we paid 100 bucks for that. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. hap happy birthday, Patti Smith. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. you know, you're, like me, your big break was on MTV. Yeah, Unless you, could, you also interned at the core, 90.1 Rutgers Radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, there actually is a script for this, and you're reading it off the telephone. No, that's not a script. <laughs> oh, that's no. hysterical. No. I thought this I whole have, thing was no, improv. I have, the, I have the script right here. Oh, my God. Oh, that's oh, very... Oh, other uh, that, questions that, that on the really back. changes things for yeah, me. Yeah, everything I have, I've been saying is TV, off let's, the Listen, <laughs> kid. <laughs> TV has changed so much in the 21st century, okay? Oh, yeah, tell me. Tell so, me. So different. Seriously. So you're... Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. 
So your big break was, I just want my pants back. I can't say that I ever saw it. You know, very few people did. Yeah, Wait, what is that? What did. is that? Did you ever I, see it's... my show, 120 Minutes? It kind of was the soundtrack of an era. You know, I never saw that show. Did you ever see my show, farmclub.com? It was interactive <laughs> before interactive. It was on the USA Network, just around the Y2K. <laughs> It reminds me of sort of old pornography websites that I would click on by accident during mm, that era. Mm -hmm. That traumatized me. Yeah, One did yeah, have to do yeah. with barnyard animals. Like porn I, You host. think I'm saying this to be funny, host? but it actually was a, it's a true thing for yeah. me. Yeah. It was like, you know, those early experiences with, uh, like, you know, un unwanted imagery. Yeah, no, I know all about unwanted imagery. What about, <laughs> yeah, this, Wade, we might I be mean, creating some unwanted imagery right now. I mean, Wade's going to, I mean, Wade's 14. He must be... Find it all kind. We can We don't even know the porn this kid's. Familiar. I'm 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 neck deep in unwanted imagery at this age. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But so MTV. Yeah. You remember me on MTV, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know, I was on air talent, and uh, you know, my time passed. Now I got a podcast. I used to have a show called 120 Minutes. Now I got a podcast called Two Hours. See what they did there. Yeah, that's the natural progression. Yeah. It's like you're on TV and the then you go to The problem is the show's only about an hour and ten minutes, though. So I'm not really, it's not, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's a big lie. Anyway, you know, but now they look for people like you. You know, I used to be the face of youth culture, now you are. Someday Wade will be the face of youth culture. You know, uh, I guess, uh, just tell me, what was it like being uh, an MTV star? Well, for me it was short-lived, but... Uh, it was very fun. We actually had a lot of fun making that show. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah, I short lived. That's that's that must be hard. See, I was on MTV for almost 10 yeah, years. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I guess you do have that on me. Yeah, I do. What, what yeah. was the show? It was called I Just Want My Pants Back and it was uh I guess it was like one of the first shows that sort of played Brooklyn for Brooklyn. It was like before that was, you know, ubiquitous. Right, right. Yeah, yeah when Brooklyn was still, it was still salt, like, and, salt and pepper. Yeah, still Salt Lake City. Salt Lake Yeah, yeah. now mm. it's Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. Now you also, uh, you grew up in New York, you must have went to CBGB's every weekend, huh? I went there when it became John Varvatos. Oh, Yeah, yeah, cool. I, that, that's sort of what, you know I, what? what I found. You know it. what, I'm gonna be honest, great food, great food. Yeah, I know, I love their Swedish meatballs. Oh yeah, me too, me too, absolutely. Man, we got a lot, you know, we got a lot, we do have a lot in common. MTV, youth culture, we're all there. But yeah. now, <laughs> you acted in uh, a film about CBGB. Is that correct? Yes, I did. You played Legs McNeil. I did, yes. Who was his legend. He is a know? legend, yeah. yeah. I never yeah. met him, but I did meet uh, John Holmstrom, who was his yeah. compatriot. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Punk Magazine, you know, is reading cool. that as a kid. You yeah, know, yeah, I mean, that before cool. that, I was only into, like, you know, Boston, Queen, Zeppelin, Sabbath, Purple. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But and that stuff was cool at its time. But oh, then yeah. I wanted to branch out. I wanted to, you know, I wanted something real. And... Punk Magazine was that for me. So, you know, I mean, you could talk about how you brought that. You know, you updated that for, uh, you know, the modern era. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Except for the fact that, like, I was only in a, like, Legs is such a minor character in that movie. I was just in a few scenes. It wasn't a lot of heavy lifting. I didn't, again, I didn't, I didn't yeah. see your show. I didn't see your movie. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, should I take offense? I hope not. Okay. Yeah, right. I don't see a lot. I'm more of a rock guy, not really a music guy. Right, 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 right. Which, and you're doing quite well, being a rock guy. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll just be quiet for a second. It's fine. I think that's good for uh, television, you know. Yeah, yeah, moments of silence. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I actually watch talk shows mostly for moments of silence. I like that. I think, I, you know, they always say it's what's in between the notes, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That was, you know who said that, right? Uh, was it Leonard Cohen? Paul McCartney. Oh, okay. Oh, that was gonna be my second guess. Yeah. Leonard Cohen, yeah. though. I mean, you know, little slow, little, you know, but I still. Give, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Like, I know he didn't come up with too much, but. Yeah, but he's that. a great songwriter. Great, great guy. Oh, you're being told to sit, stick to the script, bud. Is there a script? Oh. Oh, I see. So, so your, your new, new film, film Assholes, mm. <laughs> won the first Adam Yauch Hornblower Award. Award. IndieWire recently, recently said Peter Beck's directorial debut is one, is one of, of the most, most disgusting movies ever made. made. What, what can you tell us about this film? Well... well. <laughs> 
I fucked up. Great. Great. So, again, again I, I saw I, the I saw film. The film. I, I started out like talking heads turned into talking tushies. You didn't see it, though. Or did you? My assistant. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. She yeah. gave me the crib notes. Yeah, no, and she's a very good writer, so I'm sure they were detailed. She's great. I she's know, great. I love her. Oh, what would I do without her? Uh, I actually don't know. So, you, but you wrote it. Yes, wrote I wrote it. and directed the movie. What's that experience like? Because I feel it's like... It's very hard and you know, very expensive. And you were in it? Yeah, I know. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what were you trying to, like, I mean, the movie is gross, but, it, sure. but but I feel like somebody like Marilyn Manson, you right. know, he does a lot of gross out that's stuff. That's true, that's you know? true. I'm sorry if my reference is a little dated. No, I love Marilyn Manson. Yeah, he's great. Bro. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So, so yeah. how do you, so how do you approach that without being e exploitative, maybe? Well, the movie is exploitative, oh, for sure. Good. That's the, probably the first thing you'll notice oh, okay. when you watch that's it. That's fine. Well, I mean, to me, the movie isn't that gross, um, but to some it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my whole family's in it, for, is the one thing to mention. My sister's oh, wow. the lead. Oh, wow. My parents are in it. My psychoanalyst wow. is also in it. You know, we're it. trying to keep the uh, family talk down because Wade over here is having oh, a little yeah, bit Oh, yeah, that trouble. might be yeah. triggering yeah, for Wade. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, not name, sure if you were in... Uh, Stones Throw, the studio earlier, but uh, my uh, my mom has been gone since Labor Day. And my my sister's been missing since Arbor Day. So, can someone explain what Arbor Day is? Trees. It's a, oh, it's a day about trees. It's a day about trees. Yeah, yeah. not Earth Day, just specifically trees. Yeah. Well, trees are great. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm really glad they have a day. California's got big trees. They do. Other places just have a lot of trees. Some places don't have any anymore. And some states are known for their tiny trees. Which Tr ones? <laughs> well, <clears throat> No, really, which me? ones? There's a state known for tiny trees? Uh, apparently that's what they're teaching kids in geography I would class say, today. I would say that New Hampshire is known for their tiny trees. Great. I think it's time for us to take some calls. Call us at, uh, what's that number again, everybody? 212-757-1393. You want to take some calls? You guys oh, yeah. want to talk I, to the I, people? I'm very interested All to take right. calls, for sure. First, we've got Jake from Anchorage. Jake, <laughs> you're on the special real. without Fred <laughs> Davis. <laughs> Hello? Hello, you're on the special without Brett Davis. What's your question? We're playing rock trivia tonight. Oh, rap trivia? Hip-hop trivia? Yeah. No, we're going to be doing no, no, rock rap. trivia. Rap. We're going to be rap rock. Hyphen? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, let me just say this first and foremost. I am a huge fan of you, Matt. I grew up Thank you. on you Thank and you. Carson Daly my entire life. That's pretty much how I learned to walk, how I learned to talk, was between watching you and Carson. I grew up on it, and I, I just love what you do. I love hearing from my fans. Thanks so much. It makes me feel so good. So what's your uh, and uh, how does the trivia work? Do, do you ask me the question? No, no, you're gonna you're gonna stump me because I'm a rock expert. Okay, okay. Yeah. What year? So, so did you, so you, you call in the hit single <laughs> "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor." That's a trick question. That was Drowning Pool, who released that song in 2000. Jake. Ah, shit. You okay. lost. <laughs> you lost, Jake. Do, hey. the do the callers know that they have to come up with a trivia question? I mentioned it briefly in the oh, monologue, okay, okay. but I forgot to talk about it later in the show. Hey, I haven't been on TV in decades. Hey, you're telling me I thought I was coming to put an orca whale down. <laughs> and we hope your dreams come true someday, Wade. Me too. Next up, we've got, we got a legend on the phone. Jim DeRogatis from Chicago. Jim, how the hell are you, buddy? It's been so I'm, long. I'm good. How are you? Uh, oh. How are you, Matt? How you doing, Matt? Oh, man. I'm sp I barely remember the last time I saw you. You know, I was hitting the bottle a little hard. And I remember something about Nick Cave and a hotel room. Yeah, I got some uh, trivia for you. Oh, you got some trivia for me, huh? I didn't yeah. ex I thought we were only going to have fans, not fellow rock experts. Well, uh, the, th this, one, uh, this one is a stumper. Are you ready? I'm ready for a stumper if you are. All right. Uh, who starred, or who co-starred in a, in a Family Feud theme video with the Strokes? Who's, co wait, hold on. What's that, what's that question again? 
who coached part in a family feud theme music video with the stroke oh that would be easy that would be midwest indie rock icons guided by voices <laughs> oh well you, you got it <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes! For Peter, too. Finally, a game we can all play. <laughs> you guys want to play too? Jim, you got any more? Uh, you got... Jim, oh. do you have one for me? Well, I, I actually have a question for Peter. Uh, oh. uh, I want to know, what's your Desert Island uh, record? Mm. Oh, Desert Island record. Uh, Drop a coin in that Desert Island jukebox. <laughs> mm -hmm. It would be Future's Dirty Sprite 2. <laughs> oh, that's a great pick. Thank you. It's one of my faves. Wait, do you have a Desert a desert Island jukebox pick for Jim D. Regattas? Yeah, um, I probably have to go with... I probably have to go with Blues Traveler's entire catalog. All right. Fun like choice. Matt. <laughs> Matt, oh. Jim, why are you doing this to me? Well, if I had to pick one thing, I would have to say it's... Uh, Temple of the Dog's first record because nice. Chris Cornell was such a great friend to me. And that's not a joke. He's really he was a really great guy. And you know those guys made that record with such heart. And you know well, you know I'm gonna give uh, Future a buy it, Temple of the Dog a burn it, and Blues Traveler a crash it. Burn mm. it. Nice, crash it for sure. <laughs> Hang up on that hack. There he goes. Anyway, we have a lady from New York again on line three. Lady from New York. You're on the special without Brett Davis. Hello. Hi. Okay, so first off, I'm a lady from New York, but I'm also a jazz bro. And honestly, I was looking for a repeat playing of Democracy Now!, but somehow I uh, ended up here, so I have some questions for you. Great. And hopefully uh, they're rock trivia. Well, actually, see, it's funny. Jazz is kind of like the original rock and also, in a way, the new rock. So hey, I figured I, I love, would just... Hey, jazz and rock together make fusion. Write that down. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I was wondering if you could tell me Louis Armstrong's real birthday. Louis Armstrong's real birthday? Yes. Well, I'm going to have to say that Louis Armstrong doesn't really rock, so I'm going to have to pass on that question. You know what, though? Okay. You know what, though? I can Google it. <laughs> you can Google it. You might actually get the wrong answer, though. It's very funny because his birthday, his entire life, he thought, was That's July 4th. A... But in fact, it's August 4th. He found out after his death in another land or something like that. Wow, that is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mother. I don't get out much. Um, I was also wondering if you could tell me the name of Duke Ellington's first piano teacher. Oh, Duke Ellington's first piano teacher. I think that's going to be, hang up, get her off the phone. <laughs> I'm kind of letting this get to my head, I think. Yeah, actually, I, yeah, I think I know her, actually. She sounded familiar to me. Are these Did people she? real? Are these real people or are these fake? <laughs> someone, just, someone just come clean right now. These I'm aren't real. Sure. And I just, I these mean, aren't I real. just wonder, I think some are real and some are fake. Because I was so, I was But isn't that board, everybody dude. in life? Isn't exactly. that everybody in life? Some people are real, some people are fake. My we dad. have on line one, Joe from New Dorp. Joe, you're on the special without Brett Davis. What's your rock trivia? Yeah, uh, I have a question. Uh, what color were Kurt Cobain's eyes? Baby blue. This guy's real. Next question. Yeah, one blue this way, one blue that way. Oh. And one blue oh. over the cuckoo. Does this, that's, next. That's taste, does, that's this show have, does this show have a call screener? Because this is awful. Where, and anyway. also, where's New Dorp? <laughs> I don't know. Where no is idea. New Dorp? You're, no, <laughs> you're the, no, I have no idea. Listen, Joe, get off the phone. Line two, and I think this will be our last call, right? Yep. All right. We have Dave Meltzer from San Jose. <laughs> How's it going, hey, how Dave? Going? How's it going? Hey, how are you? Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a little... I've had this cough for a few days, but uh, I, I actually uh, went out with my kids. We went and saw the, uh, uh, I can't even think of the name of the movie anymore. But yes. Kingsman we saw 2? The, Is know, it Kingsman 2? Going on. Great. I'm sorry? Kingsman 2? You know what? Well, <laughs> Is Kingsman, the, is that the little animated, animated movie? No. Dave, aren't you a little old to be going? I fell asleep during the whole thing, you know, I just had this bad cough, and uh, mm. I excused myself, and... Uh, you know, but the wife is there. You know, the, the kids, uh, there was somebody watching the kids. Good, you know. good. Well, that's good, Dave. How's the issue coming this week? 
issue's coming along pretty good. Uh, you know, you know, it's, a, it's always a grind in the middle of the week, but, uh, you know, uh, we, we got it out there. All right, Dave, you know, we're going to just one quick, you got some rock trivia for me? Yep, I do. All right. All right. Uh, uh, in what year did Flex Cavana debut? Flex, the band? By, wait, wait, by rock trivia, do you mean the rock Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> Dave, thanks for calling. <laughs> thanks for calling. Uh, we'll see you when we see you. Now, you say you've never seen a live rock band. It's ne never once, no. Well, you're about to, you're in for a treat. Oh, really? You can see this band play tomorrow night, October 5th at Mercury Lounge with Busman's Holiday. And their new LP, Casino Drone, is out on Joyful Noise Recordings. Everybody give it up for Mike Adams at his honest way.
right here. Oh, wow. What a performance. Yeah, that was so great. Oh, thanks, kid. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I just want everyone to know that uh, you can check out uh, Mike Adams has his own public access show that you can see on YouTube. It may be better than this one. <laughs> um, you guys feeling good, huh? Hanging uh, out? Yeah, I'm great. I'm yeah, happy. Good. I'm extremely good. happy. Man, I'm so, I'm so pumped for our next guest. Yeah, who, really? This is yeah. one? This is uh, kind of a, a mystery from the catacombs of rock and roll. Oh. I don't know. You ever heard of a little band called the Ramones? Yeah, yeah, I have. What? They, Are yeah, you serious? Joey, Dee Dee, <laughs> yeah. the whole crew, Holy huh? Shit. Well, there was another member of the band from the 90s. Zippo? <laughs> <laughs> wrong wrong oh. band. Oh. Look. It's coming out. Is he ready? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Terrence Ramon. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, hey. Hey, how What's are you? What's up, man? Nice. It's good to meet you. It's great to meet you, man. Terrence, great to see you again. It's been so long. Yeah, that's fine. No, you're not You're not in the way. No, Don't worry. Right. No, no, Don't it's worry. okay. No, it's cool. I like intimacy. We'll talk over you. That's oh, it's fine. Great. Terrence, how are you? So good to see you, man. Yeah, it's, it's been great. so long, dude. Lollapalooza 96. Barely remember that one. I mean, was that the one with Porno for Pyros? Was the first one with Porno for Pyros no, or the second one? No, 96, that was Metallica. Oh, Metallica. Soundgarden. Sound. That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We had a couple, we That's had right. Cheap Trick on there a couple oh, times. Oh, yeah, wow. It, it was a little, not quite alt rock, but like kind of godfathers of alt rock. Yeah. And then I, I played for five days on there when CJ got food poisoning. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's what I right. Did. Yeah. Yeah. I played bass for five days. He ate some bad shrimp in Ohio, and mm -hmm. oh, honey. Right. Yeah. No. I, hey, we've all had bad shrimp in Ohio. No, One that's... time in our rock and roll lives, huh? Yeah. Exactly. That's right. Man. So, so how you been, man? It's been so long. <sighs> Not great. Not great. No. no. Uh, Not great. What's going on? Uh, you know, I played those five days with the Ramones, and kind of that's where my career stalled. Oh, see, that should have been your big break. Yeah, it seems like it just broke you. You think so, but apparently you have to know how to play the bass to be in a band. Is that true? I, you know. Yeah, you know, I've always wanted to be in a band, but I just never had the confidence to pick up an instrument, get up on stage. But, you know, I've definitely soloed on some broomsticks, sang into some hairbrushes, but I got to live the dream, though. Yeah, you know, those five days were just the greatest days of my life. I'm so proud of you, man. Thank I've had so colds that lasted longer than your, uh, than your, your peak. I, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> That's fine. I've just kind of been, you know, back and forth, you know. Right, right. Alphabet City, Lower East Side. Cool, cool. That's it. That's where I've been, mostly. Cool, man. So you're still, you're, I mean, are, you're the only surviving Ramon. It's me and Marky. Ah, oh, Marky. I always forget that Marky's still kicking. How do yeah. you afford the rent in that neighborhood now, though? I'm just curious. Well, you know, I got a couple benefactors, and you ever, you ever heard of this place, Sea Squat? Uh, no. No? Well, no. okay, so, real quick. You were in the CBGB's movie, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it was. I've never been there, but Sea uh, <laughs> Squat is basically a place where you're allowed to live for free because it is a condemned building. Oh, okay. Oh, so I live there right, right. on a big stack of cardboard boxes, mostly. It's not, hey, you know what, man? But you know what? You're still living that rock and roll lifestyle. Yeah. And that's what's important. Thank you now, so much. So I, most, most of the time, people come on the show, something to promote. My yeah. co-host, Wade, is promoting his, uh, his band, his what's, solo act. What's your, but, band, what's your band's yeah. name again, man? Well, it's a complicated story. A couple of the guys took off to Silicon Valley to go work at Hooli. <laughs> what? And what's that? Well, the band's called Agent Orange. You're glad you came to our show. But they took all the instruments, so I'm pretty much back to square one right now. That's Sans instruments. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Yeah. I thought I was going to be uh, putting down an orca whale at SeaWorld today, but my dad totally screwed me on the directions. He brought me here to the studio. Apparently his dad's a real big asshole. Yeah. And beyond <laughs> that, my mom has been gone since Labor Day. My sister... Since Arbor, Arbor Day. Day. Yep, that's that's it. That's the one with the trees, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the tree one. Yeah, yep. You got it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. great one. So, how you, so you, you know, you're living, 
you're living day to day. Yeah, I mean, meal to meal. Meal to meal, kind of, you know, just going to different Hare Krishna temples, getting some free meals there. Nice. Good for you. Good for yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah. Mostly that's Good where for you, I dude. eat. You can get a little exercise in with the dancing. Also. Yeah, yeah. You kind of have to, you know, you put on the the orange robe and you right, the right. harmonium and whatnot. But cool. Do you feel spiritually cleansed after you dance? No, just very hungry. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And they eat low-calorie meals, so it's all it's vegetarian. Not satiated, yeah, it's it? all vegetarian. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, that's, you know. So, what do you, so I see you got a, yeah, is that your food? Got, this is, just is my, these are my items. Oh, you got uh, some this items is what here, I have, right? But I got, so, so, uh, so I was in the Ramones. Yeah, I heard. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell, I'll tell you all about it one day. Oh, please. Please, just bring me somewhere. And uh, <laughs> I got some cardboard boxes at my house. Oh, like a like a double thick mattress. Oh, I got a quad thick in my garage. <laughs> we had so many cardboard boxes. This guy's the future of rock. I know, man. <laughs> I know. But so I got a couple. I got a couple. Uh, let's say lightly licensed Ramones items. Is this legal? Do we have a legal department now, on I this ran show? It, I ran it by my buddy. Great. <laughs> Good. Said, good. All right. So, what yeah. do you got? Come on. So, get it out all right. Here. All right. This number one here. I got it. Well, there goes my bag. And <laughs> wow. Listen, on mm. the road, you got to get a couple different bags, and that's fine. But this, I have right here. I got a, a Ramon soda. It's called Blitzkrieg Pop. Ooh, mind if I have a? Yeah, yeah. You want to take a sip? Yeah. All you know right. that. I, I drank a little bit on the way here. I see that. Yeah. Let me have a. Yeah. How much is it going for? It's going for eight bucks a bottle. Nice. Yeah. And this is the only. This is the bottles? one bottle. You know okay. what? And you're just giving away free sips. I don't know if you ever kind of taste the way CBGB smelled. What else we got in there? Come on, let's get let's it up here. Should I put it here? Yeah, just pop it right, right there. Put it right there. Right All here right. we got some uh, Rockaway Beach Rock candy. Nice. Oh, oh cool. Sick. Yeah, some candy. I would not suggest eating this. Why not? It's it's mostly a bunch of paper towels Where I put go? in there and I try to sell it on the train. You should uh, right there. you should sell glue. Didn't like, they have? Didn't they sniff glue? Well, I didn't sniff any. Oh, yeah. No, that stuff. That'll get you in a bad place. That'll do bad stuff to you, Wade. Wait, no sniffing glue. Uh, <laughs> Should have told me that yesterday. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. And, what else we got? And right here, I'm starting. Uh, I'm starting actually my own rock and roll high school, and. Uh, so it's mostly just a, uh, no, this is how it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way that it should be. <laughs> this is the curriculum for my rock and roll high school. Uh, I teach you how to wear a base as low as possible on your body without it falling off. Cool. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah, and I, tell, I teach you how to give your teacher the finger behind their back. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You want to give me a, oh, watch. Can I, can, I, can I show it off real quick? Yeah. Give us a spin real quick. Just turn backwards, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Pinfield. <laughs> what? That, no, I'm just saying, what's up? What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? And, it just, hey. and I got a, uh, I actually have a, you're an actor, right? Sometimes. Yeah, this is, I actually have a, I have sort a. Of. Sort of. Sort mm of. -hmm. I have a, I actually have a movie that's, uh, I, I, I've, I've sold a script. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 I sold oh, a script. Congratulations. Yeah. It's called Home Ramon, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's ex actually exactly Look, Home Alone. Uh -huh. And it's just me and Marky instead of Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. Hold on. Do you, you need actors? Terrence, hold this on, is hold This on. is exactly the kind of project I want to be I involved in. I think it's great. With. Look, yeah. T Terrence, we're old pals, right? Yeah, we go way back. Yeah. This is horrible. It's sad. You should be playing music, man. You should be starting a band. Yeah. You should be thinking about where's rock and roll going. You know, look at Wade here. Wade rocks. I He's rock to. and roll. He hates his shitty dad. He does. He sort of cares about his mom, which is nice, but you know, that is. he's more into wearing goggles, killing whales, and playing rock and roll. <laughs> and I think that's what you need to get back to. You need to get. You need to pick up that bass, stop feeling sorry for yourself, and keep rocking. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Wait. Yeah. Give him a. Help this guy. You know. Yeah. What do you think? You, you think gotta he get back out there. You told me. You know. Hold on. This is re this is real, everybody. You told me before, your band went to San Diego. Yeah, my two best guys. They went to the Silicon Valley. Well, how about, how about you start a band with Terrence? Oh, yeah. He was in the Ramones. Five days. For sure. <laughs> five days? Five days. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> you know, I think you guys, I've always wanted to be in a band, but I, and I know, I just think, I, I think you guys are perfect for each other. Well, I why, think don't, why don't we 
One we formed, I three could, of us. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know how to play an instrument. You don't have to. Ever since those guys swapped my instruments and took them to Hooli, you guys want to. You guys. I've wanna... just been jamming the garage, air style. I mean, you saw me earlier. You want to start an air band with me, Matt Pinfield, Terrence Ramone? Yeah. I'll what do even you give you. You think it could be cool? I yeah. I'm not gonna say no. I'll even <laughs> people. Yeah. You want to see us Woo! rock? Hey Pinfield. Yeah. I'll even float over my guitar. I'll be on the sticks. Is that how you hold it? I don't even know how to hold it. So I guess I uh, You want to? You guys want to jam now? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. All right. Come right. right. on. I've never done this before. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Wait, hold on. Drummer sits in the middle. You can be our fan. Oh, yeah. I, cool. I, that's a good uh, role for me to play. Yeah, we have fans. We, we, we cast the fans on this show. It's great. Anyway, uh, all right. So, you guys ready to... Oh, wait, you count us off, huh? Just like the rockers. Nice. You guys know it? An original. Yeah, this is one of the greatest songs of all time. Debuted on <laughs> September 24th, 1991. I remember I was hosted a sh afternoon drive show on K Rock. It was written by Kurt Cobain in 1990, based on a piece of graffiti that it. Actually, a piece of graffiti that legendary rock feminist Kathleen Hanna spray painted on Kurt Cobain's apartment wall. Did you know that? Wait, you should listen. Rock is all about knowledge. Yeah, hear that, rocks? Yeah. Come on, let's get into it, huh? Yeah, right, let's smash them. Tell me about the remote. Come on, come on. <laughs> Ladies well, and gentlemen, so dead. So playing silly. another song. Mike Adams that is on his way. Yeah. Check out the full performance on YouTube. Mike Adams, take it away. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. You can't fight the feeling.